Hey everyone, Mr. Montgomery again, and we're starting a brand new unit. We're on unit nine, and make before we even get started, make sure you're on the correct page. At the bottom here it says page 365. If you're not on that page, pause the video, get to that page, then hit the play button. Got it? Good. Okay. If you're already on that page, well, we're gonna keep on going. And we're going to read this problem up here, and we're going to find out what on earth they want us to do, how we're going to solve this, and figure out what exactly we're going to be learning today. So, it, at the top it says, Sarah has 12 marbles. Chris has one more marble than Sarah. Lucia has 10 more marbles than Sarah. How many marbles does Chris have? How many marbles does Lucia have? Show how you know. And you're probably thinking, oh boy, what's, what, that, those are too many words. But don't worry, I got you, I got your back, we're gonna, we're gonna work through this together. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna write the name Sarah up top here. S-A-R-A-H. Oh, and personally, I like to put a little line underneath. Okay. And now let's let's think about how many marbles Sarah had. She had twelve. Okay, I write the number twelve. How could we draw the number twelve using our ten sticks and our one circles that we used in the last unit? Well, remember our ten sticks. We're just going to draw a stick like that, and it's going to count as a ten. And our one circles are just little circles like this and they count as ones. So we look at our ones place for the number 12. There is a one in the tens place, so we draw one ten. And there's a two in the ones place, so we draw two ones. And that's it. So now, we have to figure out what our friends Chris and Lucia have. So, for Chris, he just has one more. So, let's write his name down in this spot, Chris, C-H-R-I-S, and again, I like drawing little lines underneath, and what we're going to do is, first we're going to draw what Sarah had. So she had a 10 stick and two 1 circles, right? But, Chris has one more. So how can we show one more in this picture? Are we going to draw another 10 stick? Are we going to draw this? No, that would be way too much. That would show 10 more. Um, hmm. what, what, about, what about if we make another circle like that? Would, that? would that help us show one more? It definitely would. Because we would just have another one in our ones place. So what number would this make? What number does this make? Well, you know what? If you're not sure, that's okay. If you're sure, I, I, if you already know this number, I'm sure that you already wrote it down. But if you're not sure, let's count it out. 10, 11, 12, 13. So our friend Chris has 13 marbles. Hmm. So that's one more. And you could also think to yourself, well, if you don't have room to draw a picture like this, you can also think to yourself, one more. We look at this tens place, and we add one to it. So it becomes a three instead of a two. That's it. So now let's do this for the other friend, Lucia. Let's write her name. L-U-C-I-A. Lucia. And again, we're just going to start by drawing out the original number, which was 12. Which is a 10 stick. And two ones circles. Okay. Now how could you show 10 more in this picture? Would we add another 10 stick or another one circle. Go ahead and put down which one you think it is. Now 
not right. Did you did you try your best and and put down either a stick or a circle? Okay, you ready to find out what the answer is? Okay, here we, here we go. You ready? So, if we wanted to show 10 more, we would draw another stick. Cuz remember these sticks are 10. When they want to show when when they want us to show 10 more, we draw another 10. Now let's find out what number Lucia has. We can always count them together. 10, 20, 21, 22. So Lucia has 22. And for this, you can also think, hey, you know what? I'm going to look at this tens place here. There's a 1. If I add 10, I'm just going to add one more to the tens place. And it becomes 22. That's it. So for 10, for one more, you're adding 1 to the ones place, right? And for adding 10, you're adding 1 in the tens place. That's it. Nothing too crazy. Don't overthink it. Do not overthink it, okay? All right, so let's turn the page. We're going to go to page 366 next, and we're going to try some on our own, okay? All right, everyone. So we are now on page 366, 366. And let's walk through the first one together. I know they kind of gave us the answers, but they're also now telling us to show one less and ten less. They didn't even do that on the first page. So I need to make sure that we totally understand what we're doing here. Because that was not cool for them to throw this at us on our guided practice. Oh my goodness. So, if, let's look up here first. Let's look at this boy with all of his cubes. He's got some uh, tens rods going on, some ones cubes. So, if we're showing one more. For 25, well, we add another cube, right? And we have 26. If we want one less, we take away a cube, right? You can kind of cross that out if you want, and boom, you have 24. You take it away. And for 10 more, I know we already did this one. So for 10 more, we're going to draw another 10 stick or 10 rod. And make sure you look at this 10s place. The tens place, when we add 10, is going to get bigger by 1. Just like over here with the 1s, when we took a 1 away, the 1s place gets smaller by 1. Okay? And the same thing goes on with the 10s. If we take a 10 away, guess what? The tens place is going to get smaller by 1. Because they're saying, hey, look, we're going to take this 10 out. We're going to put a big X through it. It doesn't exist anymore. Because we took it away. And look, now you have 15. So this is what we're going to be practicing with for the rest of the lesson. So let's go down to number one here. Okay. So what I like to do, guys, is I like to draw out the number that they're giving us. They're giving us the number 45. So let's go ahead and draw that number 45. We need four tens. One, two, three, four, and five ones. One, two, three, four, and five. All right? Not, not too bad. Not too bad so far. We got this. So they're saying one more than 45 is... Well, you know, you know what? Let me erase these and pretend like... We didn't know the answers. We're going to pretend we didn't know these answers. We're going to pretend they never gave them to us, and we're really working really hard to find this out. Well, if we want to know one more than 45, guess what? We just add a circle, right? And now what do we have? Well, 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. So it's 46. Oh, also, before I forget, I did make sure to give everyone um, 
uh, paper cutouts of tens and ones, you, please make sure you use those if you have them. If you have those paper cutouts of tens and ones that I made for everyone, please use them, and it will make this way easier. Because if you have those paper cutouts, guess what? You don't have to draw anything because you have these paper tens and ones that you can use and, and put them together and take some away, and it will be so much easier for you guys. I promise. So if you have, if mom and dad pick those up, please make sure you're using those. They will really help you out. Okay. So just also make sure you look at this once place. When they're saying one more, we look at this once place, we see a five. We're going to change it over to a six. That's it. That's all, that's all we did. Okay, let's check out the next one. One less than 45. Now, are we going to be changing our 4 or the 5? Which one is our 1's place? We're going to be changing that 5, because that's in our 1's place. And if you have your manipulatives, your 10's your and 1's, guess what? You can just kind of take one away, right? One less is taking one away. How many do we have now? Well, we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. So now we have 44. So that 5 turned into a 4. All right, nothing too crazy. Okay, now for the next one is 10 more than 45. I got to put that one back. Okay, 10 more than 45. What are we going to do for this 45? Should I add a 10 stick or a 1 circle? I'm going to add a 10 stick because we're adding a 10. 10 more, we're adding a 10. All right? So now let's see how many we have. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50... 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. So now we have 55. That's how we got that. The tens place went from a 4 to a 5. That's it. Okay, now let's do our last one. Now we're doing 10 less than 45. Now, since we know that Changing a 10, right? We got to look at the 10's place here, the 4. And we're taking away, right? If we took away a 10 up here, how many are we going to have left? Well, if you made a little drawing, we can just erase it, right? Boop. Erased it real quick. Or if you have the paper cutouts, you can just take away one of the paper cutouts. And now, let's see how many we have. 10, 20, 30... 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So now we have 35. Because since you took a 10 away, this 4 got smaller and got turned into a 3. Because we took it away a, a whole 10. We took it away. Whenever you see the word less, it means to take away. All right. What I want you to do for number 2. All right, I'm going to draw this out real quick. Feel free to draw it out, too, if you want to. 17 is a 10, and 7 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. All right? For the first two, they want to know what is 1 more and 1 less than 17. So the first one, 1 more. Go ahead and write down what is one more than 17.
All right. So if you if you're still working on this, that's okay. Pause the video, please. Okay. Pause the video, and when you're ready, we're going to continue. So if you're not too sure, or if you if you're not too sure if you had the right answer, well, let's go through it. One more than seventeen. Well, I'm just going to add a one. That's it. And then let's see how many we have total. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So we have a total of 18. Remember when we say one more, we're changing the ones place only. That's it. So one more than seven is eight. 18. All right. I'll give you guys a couple seconds to try the next one. What is one less than 17? One less. All right. If you don't have an answer, pause the video again. Work, work your way through it. If you think you have the correct answer, let's go over it. Ready? So one less. All we're doing is taking away a one. Boom. Done. Took it away. Erased it. Gone. And let's see how many we have left. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So remember, another way you can look at it is 17. The 7 gets, uh, take away 1 from that 7, and we have 6. Right? 6 ones left. 16. All right. And now I'm going to ask you guys to do the next two on your own. 10 more and 10 less than 17. So remember the first part is 10 more. The second part is 10 less. Try this one on your own. All right, if you're still working on uh, these next two parts, pause the video until you're done. But if you're all done, let's go through it and make sure you have the right answer, okay? What is 10 more than 17? Well, it's 27. The 10 is made bigger by 1. It gets bigger by 1, so the 1 turns into a 2. That's it. And if drawing a picture helps, you're going to add one ten stick. And then 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. All right, that's it. Next part. 10 less than 17 is just 7. This one was a little tricky because um, we, on the other few that we've worked on, we've always had, we still had some something in the tens place, right? But this time we don't. We have nothing. If it helps, you can put a zero there. And that's A-OK. -okay. So uh, if you're drawing a picture, well, let's use the picture to help us out. If we have 10 less, we're going to take away a 10. And what are we left with? Just the 1s. We're just left with the 1s in this, in this part. So for 17, you take away that 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. OK? And you're just left with 7. All right. Um, I feel like we didn't have enough practice, guys. Let's go to the next page. We're going to do number three together. Well, you're going to try number three on your own. We'll go over it together really quick, and then we'll do our online assignment. All right, so problem number three is on page 367, 367, and try number three on your own, okay, guys? We're working with the number 11, so you can draw it out real quick if you want. It's one ten stick and one dot. So go ahead and try this one on your own. All 
All right, if you're still working on this, please pause the video, hit that space bar. If you're all done, let's go over it real quick. So one more than 11 is 12. Remember, that ones place, when we're saying just one more, we're working with the ones place. And it gets bigger by one. So one more than one is two. Turns into 12. If you were to draw a picture, here's what the picture will look like. You have one 10 stick and one, or and you're just adding one more ones, so you have two right there. Okay? Let's try one less. We're taking away a one, so it turns into the number 10. And if you're going to change your picture up, like this, oh, take that one away, you just have a 10 left. So you have one 10 and zero ones. If we go to the next part, 10 more. Well, remember, you're just changing the tens place. That's it. When they say 10 more, you're only changing the tens place. So it turns into 21. So even though it says 10 more, you're only changing the adding one to the tens place. Okay. Don't overthink it. 10 more. Add another 10. Becomes 21. If we say 10 less, well, you're taking away a 10. So uh, if you want to look at the picture real quick, you just boop, erase that 10 stick. And what are you left with? You're left with just one, and you have zero tens. So if it helps you to write the zero in the tens place, feel free. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, and so, guys... If you're having trouble with this, please make sure you let me know that you're having trouble. Um, if you're not in my classroom, please make sure you tell a teacher you're having trouble with this. If this seems really confusing, I know this is a very different idea than what we've worked on before. But if you have no other questions, uh, let's go on to our independent practice on our Google Classroom. For our independent activities that you're going to do all on your own, you're going to go to classwork at a, on our Google Classroom. Remember, we make sure we click on the man on the blue box first. Go to classwork. The first thing I want you to do is go to 9-1, quick check. All right? There's only three questions on there. After that, I would like you to go to 9-1, extra practice, and you see a whole bunch of little stars next to it. This is, this is an IXL activity, and I want to see if you can get all the way up to 100%. All right? Uh, try your best to get up to 100%. If you get done this really fast, too, then you can go on Pink Cat Games. I added a brand new game for you. Hopefully, the school did not block it, and it's uh, all cleared up. But that's it. If you have questions, make sure you cl uh, click over back in, and you can sit through the rest of the lesson that I'm going th uh, over with the rest of the class. Um, or also make sure you ask me a question if you have a question. Okay. Uh, I hope this video helped. I hope that you are understanding everything. Okay. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.